One Kentucky nurse is in trouble with the law after what police say she did to people under her care. And one major U.S. airline was forced to halt service for a while today. Plus, after warm weather on Labor Day, we are tracking some incoming below average temperatures. Your full forecast coming up as Mountain News First at Four continues. Mountain News First at Four continues. A nurse at a central Kentucky nursing home is facing charges accused of stealing drugs from patients. Abigail Hall was arrested Friday. Police say she was driving under the influence after leaving the Lawrenceburg nursing home. But during the traffic stop, they discovered a lot more. WYMT's Phil Pendleton has more on what Hall is charged with. Abigail Hall is facing a bevy of charges, a total of nine different offenses, and this all stems from when she worked as a nurse at the Signature Healthcare Heritage Hall Nurse and Rehab Center on Main Street in Lawrenceburg. Now, she was arrested Friday, accused of driving under the influence as she was leaving Heritage Hall on Main Street. She was stopped after turning into the Valero gas station. Now, police say that there was a further investigation that revealed that a nurse had told the local 911 center that they had discovered missing doses of morphine. Later, a backpack owned by Hall was found with her personal items along with syringes and a number of legend drugs requiring a prescription. Hall told police that she had taken morphine while on shift and that she had been doing this unlawful act since January. And again, Hall is facing a total of nine different offenses, and some of those include possession of a controlled substance, tampering with physical evidence, and knowingly abuse or neglect of an adult. She was lodged in the Shelby County Jail. We're still looking into this. We hope to have a lot more for later today, but for now, in Lawrenceburg and Anderson County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Phil, thank you. Police say Hall admitted to those nine different offenses after giving her Miranda rights. We are watching out for a few showers across the mountains into this afternoon. For most of us, we are dry, but a few showers are possible, mainly along and west of Interstate 75. Here's a live look at the radar, and as you can see, a clean sweep for most of us, but zooming in on some showers in Wayne County, also Pulaski County and McCreary County as well. Raining near Pine Knot, also Somerset, Monticello, getting in on a few showers this afternoon. But for most of us, we are dry and warm. Temperatures in the upper 80s and lower 90s, 90 for Harlan, also Middlesbrough. 87 in Manchester, 86 in Pikeville, and 92 over in Grundy at this hour. Here's a live look from Buffalo Mountain. No clouds, no showers really at this location. Plenty of sunshine and blue sky, and that temperature is up to 88 degrees. So we are toasty for your Tuesday afternoon, but some changes are on the way as more showers are possible by midweek as a weather system begins to move into the region. And then after this system, we are tracking more fall-like temperatures for this weekend. Also, into next week. Those details on the way in just a few minutes. Steve. All right, Cameron, thank you. The world's third largest airline issued an hour long ground stoppage this afternoon. The FAA issued an alert that United Airlines was delaying all flights nationwide due to quote an equipment outage. Fortunately for thousands of air travelers, the ground stop was lifted a little more than an hour later. The latest numbers from the tracking site FlightAware show that United has delayed hundreds of flights and canceled 14 flights as a result. Marijuana is the most commonly used drug in the country. New research looks at a drug that curbs marijuana use for those who have become dependent on the drug. CBS's Christian Benavidez reports from Miami. 27-year-old Roosevelt Bennett says he struggled to get tasks accomplished after becoming dependent on marijuana. He says he used the drug since he was 17. I would smoke more often and also I wouldn't get as much things done. So when he learned about a drug trial to treat the overuse of marijuana, he took a chance. The higher my tolerance got, the more I just continued to smoke. With the growing advent of legalization of marijuana, there is this thought that 
People can't be addicted to marijuana. Dr. Rishi Kakar is chief scientific officer and medical director for Seagal Trials, which is conducting the study. It affects their function, it affects their work, it affects their learning, it affects their relationships. Estimates show about 60 million people had cannabis use disorder in 2021, and the risk of developing dependence is higher for people who started using marijuana during adolescence. The CDC warns marijuana use could negatively impact the health of your brain, heart, and lungs. In the case of Bennett, who is a content creator, he says his productivity suffered. But after participating in the study, for which he was paid $2,000, he says he saw a marked improvement. Bennett doesn't know if he actually received the drug or a placebo, but he thinks he did. I wasn't smoking as much. I noticed that I was getting more things accomplished, um, especially like... I finish my website and I create more. Bennett admits he still occasionally smokes, but not nearly as much as before, and hopes sharing his story can help others. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami. There is currently no approved pharmacological treatments for people who have cannabis use disorder. This drug would be the first. The Food and Drug Administration months ago forecasted a shortage of Adderall, known as a treatment for attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder. Now that's becoming a reality. Some parents are resorting to having their kids take a drug holiday this summer, also known as a break from taking their ADHD medications. I would say the, the best thing to do is to have a good relationship with your pharmacist. Um, and, you know, a lot of people are having to shop around and find where they can get their medications. And sometimes they do okay with that. Uh, but a lot of times they end up just, you know, going around the circuit trying to find where they can get it. Dr. Wood suggests making sure children are able to have an outlet for their energy. He says Adderall is a stimulant medication that you can take a break from.